Alright, so what you want to do is take your, your panels and lay them, the reflective side, down. And make sure your floor is clean so you don't you know, tear it or anything. You lay them down and you lay them edge to edge. Fairly close. Uh, you don't need to really squish them together because we do need a little bit of play so that when we bring this up and we, you know, put it together, we're going to be able to work on this a little better. So, you just want to take some tape and lay it down on each seat. So we're going to start with just one piece of tape. We're going to end up with about two or three pieces of tape on here when we're finished to really make sure everything holds together well. For right now, just one piece of tape on each seam. So really simple. That side over there is going to be the bottom. So we're going to lift this way so we can put the bottom on. So you want to be careful and you want to do your best to lift it all up without taking the tape off. So you want to reach out of reach from these end seats and bring it up. And now you can kind of bring these in and assemble it into a box. So I'm going to change the camera angle and I'll show you what I'm doing. Alright, so here's the interior of the box. I'm just going to bring this in gently, make sure that the seams all square up nicely, which they appear to be doing. Okay. So the really tape may pop off on the edges. You just need to go back and re-secure them. So this side's good. I'm going to get this to come in. Alright. Now that side's scored up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some tape and I'm going to seal this corner. Then you want to bring them together as best you can. Line up the top edges, line up the bottom. And then go ahead and secure the tape. There we go. So now our box is taped together. I'm going to go ahead and put one more strip on each corner just to reinforce it. Once I'm done with that, then I'm going to go ahead and start sealing the, or I'm going to go ahead and put the bottom on. I haven't done it yet. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to seal up this bottom the same way I did the side panels. Go. Alright, so I've gone ahead and I've put my second layer of tape on all the seams. 
Now what we need to do is put the bottom on here. So I've gone ahead and put foil on it just like the side panels. And you just want to go ahead and stick it on top. Make sure the edges all line up. Because you may have to shift the box a little bit so that it will more or less square up with the bottom. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I'm just going to tape it all. Once you've gone ahead and you've put one layer of tape, you want to do the same thing you did on the side seams and just double it up for a little extra strength. And if you wanted to, you could use duct tape or something a little more abrasion resistant than this stuff for this bottom seam. So there's my first layer, I'm going to go ahead and do a second layer, and then I'm going to flip this over, we're going to seal off the inside, and then we're going to start working on the cover. So here we go. Okay, here's the bottom of the box, I'm just going to go ahead and flip it over. Here's the inside of the box. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and seal up all my edges. So as you can see, this is kind of floating. So one of the things that we're going to do last is actually put a piece of tape here and fold it over the edge. This is not only going to seal up this top, but it's actually going to hold on to pretty much this whole panel. It's going to keep it kind of free floating up here. So, First thing I'm going to do is actually seal up the bottom edges. So just measure my tape. Take a strip. And then when I want to get into corners like that, I actually take this strip of tape, fold it in half, sticky side out, and just make sure it's creased pretty much in half. And then I can take this, and when I lay it down on the bottom or wherever, then I can push it down into the corner and then stick the sides off. So I'm going to go ahead. So I got one edge. I'll work on this one. And you just want to go around, and the goal is to make the entire inside of the box reflective. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then, once I'm done with this, we can start working on the top. Or the, the lid of the box. Now that we've got the box all insulated, everything's covered, we're going to work on the lid. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put these in so that the when you put the lid down, it locks in here so it can't slide off and fall in or anything like that. So that you have a nice positive lock when you drop the lid on here. 
So this is the inside of the lid. And what you want to do is these are going to basically be put along the edges here. Now to figure out where we're going to put them, just take two of them for now. And then you're going to need to take a little bit of tape. Just a little strip will do. And you're going to want to tape them. You only need to tape one edge for right now. And you want to go in about half an inch from the end. Then put that down. You're only going to put one because it's going to kind of shift and move. That way we can sort of adjust it and get it to fit well. I'll show you what I mean. So doing that to the other one, just put a little piece, put it about half an inch from the edge, secure that now. All right. So now we take the lid, flip this over. this on and see if it so I can actually move it just a little bit closer to the edge so then I just go ahead push them a little bit closer to the edge and then I put another piece of tape just to hold them in place nice and secure too small so you just kind of push get it to fit right. now it's perfect so now that it's in place just go ahead secure that and then we can work on the other two. So you want to do the same thing, place them about half an inch from the edge. Take this, flip it over, and see if it fits. Yeah, there it is. So it fits very well, and it works. So now we're going to go ahead and tape these down, and then I'm going to go ahead and lay tape along the inside here to insulate this. I'm going to go ahead, do that, and then I'll show you what that looks like. Alright, so I've gone ahead and I've taped the inside of this, taped up all my edges, 
now it fits perfectly. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut these holes out. This is where we're going to be putting our PVC pipe in and it's going to heat up in here. So the way I measured this is that this one is exactly in the middle so that it's in 9 inches from the side and it's in 5 inches from the end. Each one of these are 5 inches from the end or from the side and 9 inches from the end. So essentially it's the same measure. So 9 inches in, 5 inches in. 9 inches in, 5 inches in. 9 inches in, 5 inches in. And then I've gone ahead and put my 2 and a quarter inch diameter circle around each one of these. So now I'm going to go ahead cut these out just like I did for the light bulbs or for the light fixtures and then once I've done that I'm going to just put some tape in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll show you what that looks like when it's done. Okay, so I've gone ahead cut these out and I just took strips of tape and actually folded them inside so you can see I've got it sealed on the inside and on the outside. So now that our lid is done, if you aren't going to do the switch, then you can just plug this in and get ready to go. If you decided to do the switch, then we've got to go and wire switch real quick. So let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> 